Whoop diddy whoop, scoop scoop poop. What is up, squad? It's your boy Pino E here, and I think we got a new intro. I got some knowledge to drop, so let's start off on a good foot. Hit that like button, and let's go. Let's kick today off with Reebok and a look at the currency Reebok question Jet Life. This iteration of the Iverson Classic comes dressed in a stem green, vital blue, and white color scheme, featuring a white base stopper, blue suede heels, iridescent toe cap with Jet Life logos on the tongues and heels, finished with plant graphics on the outsole. The box is just as dope as the shoe designed to look like a lowrider. The pair will release exclusively at Sneaker Politics on May 3rd at 6 p.m. Central Time, followed by a sneakerpolitics.com drop on May 4th and a wider release at select Reebok retailers on May 11th. Over to Nike next and let's start with beating a dead horse over and over again with a metal pipe. The Air Max 270, it's one of Nike's newest silhouettes and one that features the most air ever and it's releasing in this women's exclusive colorway coming in a flight gold, black, light bone, white and hot punch colorway. No hating here, just honesty, these are no good. But ladies, if you want them, May 3rd is the date and 150 is the price. And Volt, the color that was once dope until Nike drowned it in hundreds of releases. But again, no hating, just honesty, these actually don't look too bad, they're kind of cool. This pair comes dressed in a Volt hue covering the upper, featuring black contrasting branding throughout, a white mid, a black though 270 air bubble, and a black outsole. I like them, these are okay in my books, and they also drop May 3rd for $150. Oh, look what we got next. I bet you wouldn't have thought that it'd be another pair, did you? Do you think there's another one after this? Who knows? I get it. Nike wants to make money. They're a business, but chill on the damn releases. I don't see why it is necessary. Here's what I mean. The top left is what's releasing soon, and the bottom right is what dropped on March 26th. Sure, there's a little differences, but I don't get it. Anyway, whatever. They're not a bad shoe. They're not an ugly shoe. Just, you know, chill. Stay tuned for a release date. So what came first, the chicken or the egg type shit is going on right here with this pair? I want to know what came first, the shoe or Easter? Is Nike late to the party with this pair or are they super early for Easter 2019? That's some deep philosophical type shit that I need an answer to. But while you try to figure that out, take note, they're dropping in Europe on May 5th. If you're in North America, stay tuned. And last up for Nike, we got an official look at the Nike Air Maestro 2 LTD Black White. This one here comes dressed in a clean black and white colorway built with an asymmetrical lacing system, a zipper enclosure on the medial side of the shoe, and an extended ankle strap. If you want them, the May 5th is the date. You can find them on Nike.com and retail set at $140. Hold up, why did I say that was last up for Nike when really last up is a first look at two colorways of the off-white Nike Zoomfly Mercurial FK and fuck a hater that orange pair is dope. The black pair from this shitty image, well you can't really tell too well if they're a hero or a zero, but being a massive soccer fan I need that orange pair. But I've seen a lot of people complaining about too many off-white pairs dropping and I know I joke on this channel about the 10 being the 27,361 but yo it's simple if you don't like them don't cop them. Now I know this might sound a little hypocritical of me since I was just complaining about the 270s but it's not like they're dropping 10 pairs a month. The releases are still quite spread out and it gives people a chance to own a piece of this collection. So in short if you don't like them that's cool that's your opinion and do you but they will sell out and some of us don't mind more pairs. Stay tuned for a release date on this orange pair. I do expect them to drop soon and there's no word on if or when that black pair will release. Let's move on over to Jordan brand and yo I hate this model the Air Jordan 28 locked and loaded. It reminds me of a construction gum boot or those women's hunter boots but whatever either way I couldn't ever wear this thing. Anyway today Nike gave us an official look at the model that's dropping as part of the Champions Think 16 collection and when the upper is folded down they're highlighted with a 9 on one side and a 5 on the other as a nod to the 95 points that the Heat scored over the Spurs during game 6 of the 2013 NBA Finals. The pair will be limited like all of the collection is and they drop on May 12th for $200. Next up, let's talk production numbers on a couple more upcoming models. And first, we got the Air Jordan 14 Last Shot. And the last time this pair dropped, they dropped with 430,000 pairs, almost half a million. But if you want the pair that releases on June 14th, it's not going to be as easy. This year, there's only going to be 175,000 pairs dropping, and that's still quite a bit. It's in no way limited, but it's also nowhere near a large GR. This was kind of confusing to me. I predict the sellout, but let's wait and see. 
If it's the Heat Game 13s that you're waiting on, then you could chill out with these. You shouldn't have anything to worry about. The pair drops on August 25th for $190, and there's going to be 350,000 pairs of these. And last up, just a reminder and a look at the release maps for the Air Jordan Retro 1 High OG Satin Shattered Backboard. May 5th is a date, 160 is a price, and they will be dropping on the Sneakers app along with select retailers like Foot Locker and Foot Action. This pair is limited, folks. I don't have the exact numbers on these, but if you really want to add these to your collection, then do not sleep. And guys, let the ladies eat a little on this one. Fellas, no need to beat them over the head with resale, and good luck, everyone. And that does it for today's video everyone. If you enjoyed it, and I hope you did, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe, join the squad. If you've got something to say, leave it in the comments below. And I'm out!